Okay, in this video, we're going to be doing Calc AB problem set number six. Uh, there's a link to the problems in the description below, as well as a link to a playlist of all the problem sets. So let's do this. All right, we want to find f prime of x for each of the following. Uh, f of x is sine of 5x, and then sine cubed of 5x, and then just randomly the quantity 8x minus 3 to the 15th. So chain rule problems, basically. All right, so first up... Uh, we want to deal with f of x is sine of 5x. So the derivative f prime of sine of 5x, the derivative of sine of something is cosine of that thing times the derivative of that thing. The derivative of 5x is 5. That's our derivative. Typically, you would rewrite that as 5 cosine of 5x. Let's move on to the next one. So now this is like kind of the same problem, except we have sine of 5x cubed, right? So sine cubed of 5x. So the first thing I would do on a problem like this is I would rewrite it so that it looked like the quantity sine of 5x cubed. I don't do that long term, but when you're first dealing with the uh, chain rule, I think that's a really good idea. So now we're going to find the derivative. We're just thinking like biggest function, then next smallest, then next smallest. So first we're finding the derivative of something cubed. So the derivative of something cubed is going to be 3 times that thing squared times the derivative of that thing. That thing is sine of 5x. The derivative of sine of something is cosine of that thing times the derivative of that thing. That thing is 5x, the derivative is 5. That's our answer. Typically, you would rewrite this as 15 sine squared of 5x times cosine of 5x. All right, next up. f of x is the quantity 8x minus 3 to the 15th. So the derivative of something to the 15th is 15 times that thing to the 14th times the derivative of that thing. So we're going to do 15 that thing, which is 8x minus 3, to the 14th times the derivative of that thing, which is 8. And then we would typically rewrite this. All right, next problem. To find a critical point. All right, so you definitely need to know the definition of a critical point. People tend to forget uh, one really important part of this. So I'm going to say that x equals c is a critical point of f of x if, first of all, x equals c has to be in the domain of f of x. If it's not in the domain of f of x, it is not eligible to be a critical point. So it has to be in the domain of f of x, and then f prime of c is 0 or f prime of c does not exist. That's the definition of a critical point. Make sure you can write it down. Make sure you have it memorized, and also try to like intuitively think about it. All right. Find the critical point. So this is a reason why we would need to know the definition of y equals the quantity 3x plus 1 cubed times the quantity 2x minus 1 to the fourth. All right. So what I'm going to do first, obviously you wouldn't do this in the real world, but uh, I'm going to rewrite it using some colors, right? So I have uh, the quantity 3x plus 1 cubed, and then the quantity 2x minus 1 to the fourth. All right, so this is a product, so we're going to use product rule, and in using the product rule, we'll use the chain rule anytime we need to. So we're going to go with y prime is first, so 3x plus 1 cubed, times the derivative of the second. So the second is something to the fourth, so 4 times that thing to the third, and then times the derivative of that thing, so times 2, plus second which is quantity 2x minus 1 to the fourth, times the derivative of the first. So that's going to be 3 times that thing squared times the derivative of that thing. The derivative of 3x plus 1 is 3. So I color-coded all of that. Now what you would do is you would look through and you would say there's a bunch of like common things. We take out the, uh, what, the least common multiple, I guess, greatest common, greatest common factor. Um, so that's how important those words are. Uh, all right, so we got a 3x plus 1 squared that we can take out from both things and a 2x minus 1 cubed that we can take out. That's going to leave us with 8, the quantity 3x plus 1, and also 9, the quantity 2x minus 1. I'm not going to make you watch me write the next part. I've just expanded uh, into all yellow there. And then the next part, I'm just going to collect terms in the yellow. And then I'm going to write down my critical point. So that's where y prime is equal to 0 because the derivative is never, never, never undefined in this case. So the critical points are x equals negative 1 third, x equals 1 half, and x equals 1 over 42. All right, that's problem set number 6. I'll be back in the next one to do problem set number 7, probably. Hope this was helpful, and good luck.